While it's still a 177, 158, and 11 overall run with free plays here on the Power 5, as the late Stuart Scott used to say, I have been colder than the other side of the pillow lately. On today's show, I've got two plays in the NBA for Thursday, plus three look-aheads for Saturday in college football. That's the game plan. If you're interested in either of tonight's football games, Texans, Jets, and NFL, or Tulane, Charlotte in college, then check out the morning wager as Mark Zinno and I offered up three plays on those two contests there. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with your thoughts on my selections here on the Power Five. Also, if you'd be so kind to hit that thumbs up, your support is always greatly appreciated. Here we go. Number one, NBA Memphis, plus six and a half versus Milwaukee. This is an 8-10 Eastern time tip-off on NBA TV. Grizzlies are playing the second night of a back-to-back after losing outright as 11 and a half point favorites last night here at home to Brooklyn. I think that 119-106 result is going to have the Grizz coming out with some fire here this evening. Back on their home floor last night was a situation where the Grizzlies turned the ball over 22 times, which led to 31 points for the Nets. Hard to win when that happens. John Morant, he shoots just 5 of 16 from the field, including 1 of 6 from 3. I'm just thinking we get a better effort out of Memphis tonight than what we saw last night. Remember, they led Chicago by as many as 20 on Monday, a game they ended up losing by 3. This is a Memphis team that made my short list for most improved teams in the league this year, and I just think it's a lot of points to be getting at home against the Milwaukee team that's lost three in a row themselves. The Bucks, they've lost to Brooklyn as well. More recently, they lose in Boston Monday night. This is their third straight road game. Doc Rivers not getting much production outside of Giannis and Lillard. I just think we're getting a great value at this current number. Not scared at all by the fact that Milwaukee's taking the bulk of the early money. This line should be closer to pick them, in my opinion. Oh, by the way, Memphis... 5-0 straight up and ATS the last five meetings versus Milwaukee. For our second NBA pick on today's show, I'm going to lay the points. Dallas minus six versus Houston. Mavs had a really nice win the other night, beating Minnesota on the road. Minus, uh, they they did it 120-114, uh, to 114, pardon me. Uh, that was the second night of a back-to-back, that win. And Anthony Edwards was going off early for the T-Wolves. And Luka Doncic was only 10 of 27 from the floor with just one made three. It came late. It was very timely. So that was a really impressive win for me uh, by Dallas, who has now won back-to-back games, despite Doncic shooting his 30% overall and 2 of 17 from three during that stretch. For them to win those games with that kind of shooting from their superstar, it speaks volumes. You got to think Doncic is going to start shooting the ball better tonight. And that means trouble for a Houston team that basically needed all of a season-high 36 from Jalen Green in Monday's 101-96 win at San Antonio. Dallas, to me, clearly has the superior offensive depth in this matchup. Rockets have only won one of the last seven head-to-head meetings with the Mavericks. Thought this number opened a little low. Sure enough, Dallas has taken early money. I agree with that line move. Lay it in this 840 Eastern time tip-off. All right, let's now turn to Saturday's college football slate. I'm very eager to start talking about Saturday's college football slate. And like I said, I got three look-aheads for you already. Uh, these are live dogs that are gonna are already taking money, so I would get down quickly. That's why I'm bringing it up here on Thursday. The first is Louisville, plus 10.5 at number 11 Clemson. It's a 7.30 Eastern kickoff from Death Valley. I know Clemson's coming off a bye. Dabo has not lost at home off a bye since 2010. But this is too many points. I make Louisville closer to a touchdown underdog in this one. Let's note the Cardinals have played in a lot of close games recently. In fact, each of their last five games have been decided by seven points or less. And while Clemson's off the bye, Louisville played last Friday. Came back to beat BC 34-27. I had BC plus the points in that one. Uh, So they had an extra day to prepare as well. Uh, Did Louisville? Yes, Clemson was red hot going into the bye with six straight wins. But those wins came against App State, NC State, Stanford, Florida State, Wake Forest, and Virginia. The Tigers... They have two big road games on deck as well, at Vatek and Pitt. Maybe they're looking forward to those. Meanwhile, all three Louisville losses have been by exactly seven points to top 25 teams, Miami, SMU, Notre Dame. I think they keep this within single digits. Head coach Jeff Brom is 18-9 ATS all-time as a dog of six points or more with 12 outright upsets. Very impressive. Uh, number four, another 7.30 Eastern kickoff is Texas A&M at South Carolina. Like the dog here as well. South Carolina's plus two and a half across the board. 
Despite that 4-3 and three straight up record, I have the Gamecocks power rated as a top 20 team in the country, believe it or not. And they're a great situational play this week at home against an AM team that's coming off a big win over LSU. The Aggies needed a big second half in that game and a quarterback change to get the win. Meanwhile, South Carolina off a bye. Their ATS record at home when facing top 10 teams, 12-5-1 against the number. Uh, that includes seven outright wins. Remember, two of the Gamecocks' three losses this season were to Alabama and LSU by a total of five points. I know I said to bet AM to make the se- uh, college football playoff before the season started, but they've hardly been dominant, and the unsettled quarterback situation gives me a bit of pause here in what will be the Aggies' toughest game since the season opening lost in Notre Dame. Take the points with South Carolina. Now let's add one more dog to the list Saturday night. Washington plus two and a half versus USC. USC's obviously been a disaster in the road favorite role this season. They've lost outright three times at Michigan, Minnesota, and Maryland. Now they do get to stay out west this time, but Washington is much better than its record. Very similar to South Carolina. Uh, the handicaps are very similar on these two games. The Huskies, they finished with a total yards edge in all four of their losses this season. Defense, top five in the country in terms of yards per play allowed. They give up just 4.6 yards per play to Big Ten teams. Washington needs this win for their bowl eligibility. Uh, they've still got games with Penn State and Oregon upcoming. I would not read too much. Meanwhile, in the USC's home win over Rutgers last Friday, it was a late start for the Scarlet Knights, 11 p.m. Eastern kickoff. The Trojans, this is the story. They're 0-6 ATS the last six times they've had to lay points on the road. Seventh straight week without a bye for them. Washington, they were off two weeks ago before a tough loss to Indiana. A pick six early set the tone in that game. I just think Washington's very capable of pulling this outright upset, take the two and a half. Let's now go ahead, do a quick recap of the Power Five. Number one, Memphis plus six and a half versus Milwaukee. Number two, Dallas minus six versus Houston. Number three, Louisville plus 10.5 at Clemson. All these college football games are Saturday again. Uh, South Carolina plus 2.5 versus Texas A&M. And then Washington plus 2.5 versus USC. Again, comment down below with your thoughts, comments, questions, whatever you want to know. Let me know what you're betting on tonight. Uh, Also, what you've already got locked in for Saturday. I'll enjoy reading that. And after you've smashed that like button, Head on over to wt.buzz slash bp where you can find all of my winning picks for the weekend. Still number one in college football this season despite last Saturday's poor results. I've also got a 4% best bet in the NFL for Thursday. I'm 61% this season with NFL sides. Again, that's wt.buzz slash bp. That's going to do it for Thursday's edition of the Power 5, guys. Make sure you're subscribed to the Wage Talk YouTube channel. Hope you enjoyed the show. And until next time, let's cash some tickets.